guys, this is me and I'm back at it again with another video. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. For this video, I'm gonna talk about the obvious truths about mental health illnesses. So, wag na magtatumpik tumpik pa. But before I start, please subscribe to my channel. Support me, guys. Please. Okay. Nowadays, the cases of people suffering from mental health disorders are spiking up way to the top. And it's sad. 2020 now, but I don't know why some people are still uh, prejudiced about mental health. No? So the first one is people call me names. You know, we have this Filipino term that is very derogatory. Masyado siya insulting. It's the word baliw. Most Filipinos think that the word baliw is okay. But in the mental health world, it is not. It is a word that screams stereotype. May schizophrenia ka, baliw ka. Drug dependent ka, baliw ka. May gambling disorder ka, baliw ka. May PTSD ka, baliw ka. Lahat na. We should educate other people to stop using the word baliw. It is not a good word to describe those people who are suffering from mental illnesses. Okay? And then there's some children who are being bullied. There's children who are uh, having developmental disorders or autism or ADHD. People call them sira, retarded, abno. Guys, sana okay lang kayo. Let's call them by their names. They have their own names. They're humans. They're people. Stop calling them by such derogatory remarks. Okay? Gigil nyo. Next, people invalidate your feelings because they say it's all in your mind. Oh, why didn't I think of that? Amazing. Magic. You see this book? This is the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders. So this book contains all the mental disorders that there is. Okay? Okay? This is by American Psychiatric Association. You see how thick this book is? Ganon kadami ang mental disorders sa buong mundo. Okay? And the next time I hear someone say it's all in our head, I'm gonna slap you with this book non-stop, so hard, countlessly, until you see stars floating above your head. Next, most people think that mental illnesses can be summarized by one word, sadness. Each mental disorders and illnesses has their own set of symptoms, okay? Not just sadness. Let's go to the most common mental illness, depression. Sabi nila pag depressed ka, sad ka, malungkot ka, yun lang. People do not understand that people with depression feel empty, yet sometimes overwhelmed by all of the emotions coming to you at once. It can go from another pole to pole. People are confused about what they want to do with their life. Again, it's not just sadness. If you want to know more or to dwell in this topic more, comment down below and I will make a more comprehensive video about that specific topic. Next, if you go to a psychiatrist, you are not. Or you are. You know, kaya maraming tao ang takot magpatingin. That's why a lot of people are afraid to even seek professional help because of the prejudice that comes with it. Pag nalaman na ibang tao na, ay, nagpapasychiatrist ka, nagpapasychologist ka, ah, baliw ka siguro, no? Kaya sobrang daming tao na nagsasuffer in silence because ayaw nila humingi ng tulong kasi manajudge lang sila imbis na matulungan sila. And truth be told, when people find out that you're seeing a psychiatrist, they wouldn't want to be friends with you. Because they think, 
you are insane or that you are not in your right mind. So sad. Next, uh, mental health illnesses, disorders, whatnots are being romanticized in media and in the entertainment industry. You know, if it's not being judged, it's being romanticized. Disgusting. Do you know how far it is to live with a mental illness and here you are? Romanticizing it? Wake up. I'm gonna say this once and for all. You cannot romanticize things that make people suffer. Bigilio. You know, I see these things on Facebook that says, I love your depression. Dude, do you even know how depression feels like? So if you love someone who has depression, help them overcome their depression. Do not love the depression itself. Okay? Fucking okay, fine. Okay. Next, people who are suffering have this tunnel vision. It happens when nakikita niya na isang, isang way na lang yung palabas sa problema na ito. Tunnel vision, only one way is a solution out of this darkness. You know, death. But, not all suicidal people really want to die. Some of them just want to stop the pain. And, yun na nga, nagiging tunnel vision na. That's why they think that death is the only way out of this tunnel vision. And you know, those people who are doing self-harm, most commonly those people who are slit in the wrist, majority of them really don't want to die. They just want help. Or they just want to feel something physically because emotionally, mentally, psychologically, they are numb. And sometimes pain makes you feel alive. That's why they cut themselves. That's why they harm themselves. You know, mental illnesses are not just in here. They exist. They are being manifested. And they ruin people's lives. So what can you do as a friend, as a family, as a partner, as a lover? What can you do? Listen. Don't judge. Understand. And love them. Show them you care about them. Wag puro salita. Show it through action. That you care. Let's be empathetic. No. And the least we can do for them is to listen. Okay. Ako, personally, I always pray for those people who I know are suffering uh, silently. I'm not a vocal person, so uh, even though I love you, I won't say it to your face. Even though I care about you, I won't tell you that. But whenever you need help, I will be here for you. I will listen to you. And if you need me to say something to you, I will. But if you want me to just listen to you, I will just listen to you and pray for you and understand you. That's how we can help. I hope may napulot kayong lesson dito sa video na to. And I hope na hindi lang yung gigil ko yung napansin nyo, kundi yung uh, pinagsasabi ko rin, no? And if you want me to talk more about mental health issues, comment down below kung anong issues yon, kung anong topic ang gusto nyo uh, i-discuss ko in the future videos. So please like, comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. So share yun na to kung may natutunan kayo. Thank you for watching and see you in my next video. Bye!